Okay, so today we're looking at some JKD trapping going into different joint lines. So what we looked at was the pox out, slapping, and hitting. And then if he blocks that, we can do it again for pox out, loy, pox out. From there, I grab and knee so that I can shoot over and guillotine the neck. If, for whatever reason, I don't get the lock that I wanted, maybe his chin is sucked, I'm gonna turn it so that I crank the neck and lift. Or, if I don't wanna go that way, I shoot over, I come under this arm, I thread under this arm, grip, stand in, and stand forward to get this stockade. It's hard to finish the stockade from standing. You can also step through safely. Planting, kick the leg through to crank the neck. Then we started looking at lops out and hit. From the lops out, I hammered down onto the arm to bend it to the figure four. Or you can elbow and roll forward for the arm bar. If I go for the arm bar and he bends it, great, figure four. If I go for the figure four and for whatever reason I can't get it, arm bar. Then instead of lops out, we did pox out, lops out, so that you can do the same things off of the other arm. Pox out, lops out, off of the other arm. Now, instead of going over the top of the arm, we circled to come up from underneath. So from this lops out, I circle, clap, roll it towards me for the gable grip arm bar, either to off balance or to throw knees. If it bends, hammer lock. And bring it back up to lock this way. And again, you can do all of those off the other arm as well. If I find myself in this position, you can bring it all back, shoot over the top, guillotine, face lock, stockade. And then the last one, the really fancy one we did, instead of pox out, lops out, I go lops out. And on my second lops out, I hit low. I raise up to smash the face, bend the arm, and I fold over, almost like a tonsil. I scoop the head so I can rip down on the side. Or, one, two, I scoop the arm, grab it, bring this close, extend to lock both shoulders. So one last time, one, two, open, through, Lots and lots of different locks and just practicing them from trapping so you get a different idea of options.